So I was thinking of doing a full face of makeup and showing you something fun, a starter kit with no budget for my best friend. So this is the makeup that I would suggest to my best friend or to my mom, to anyone who likes to start in makeup and is not sure what to pick up. There's no budget here, so they're all high end. And I will also make a video on a starter kit for my best friend, budget friendly with drugstore makeup. So let's get into it. So my brows are done. And for that, I would suggest to my best friend to pick up the Kosas Airbrow Gel. Mine is in the shade black, but it's a very subtle black. So this is one thing I suggest. I love this one. There's a lot of product in here. A little bit goes a long way. So brows are done. That's boring. Now let's go for primer. For primer, I would suggest to purchase the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. You can't go wrong with it. You can use this in so many ways, but I like to use it as a primer. So let's put this on. This is a very similar to the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Just a little bit more lighter, less coverage, but you can use it pretty much in the same way. For brushes, again, I would suggest to pick up the BK Beauty brushes. I also have some MAC brushes. You can go wrong with MAC brushes, but BK Beauty is just wonderful. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 109 brush, which is the smaller version of the foundation brush, which is the 101 brush. I have a review on my channel on how to use each and every one of these brushes, so make sure you check that one out. So I like to blend my um, primer with this brush. This brush is very versatile and you can use it for many things. And I will show you throughout the video what else I'll be using it for. Just like that, it's already blended. I would suggest for a starter kit, it's amazing to have something that is medium coverage, not too light and not too um, full coverage. So for that, I'm suggesting the LYS Triple Fix Foundation. This is a serum foundation. This lasts you all day long. And the minute you apply it till the end of the night, you don't see the foundation budge or you don't see any spots that have been removed removed whether you wear a mask or not. So this is in the shade LN6 and I like to pump out one pump for now. I'm gonna go ahead and use my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is such a good foundation and it's perfect for beginners for anyone because it's kind of like a serum foundation but it provides enough coverage and it lasts you all day long. Now I'm gonna go with my beauty sponge and make sure that there's no residue anywhere. Now isn't this pretty? You cannot go wrong with this. This is probably one of my top foundations. I'm gonna zoom you in so you see how nice the complexion looks. Okay, so next I have concealer. So for concealer, I would suggest for a starter kit, this is beautiful lasting throughout the day, very hydrating. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla Wafer. And I will have another one that I would suggest for different reason to have in your starter kit and I will show you in a second. So for this, I'm gonna start with my BK Beauty 109 to blend it on the actual face. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. And whatever I have left over, I'm just gonna blend underneath. So my next concealer I'm gonna use, and this concealer is perfect to use for spot concealing, for brightening, for as an eye primer, or you can just use it as a foundation without having to use foundation. So I'm suggesting the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light 1. Obviously this is a beautiful potted concealer. And this I like to use with my finger. The warmth of my skin actually with this concealer works wonderful. 
and this I'm just gonna use on my eyelids to kind of prime my eyelids before I apply eyeshadow so I like to do that and also you can just use it for the inner corners but in this case I'm using this just for my eyelids and I'm gonna go ahead with my sponge okay, so moving on to powder because we want to powder the eyelids and the under eye area the best powder I suggest for a starter kit is the Pat McGrath fetish under eye powder it doesn't have the shade here anymore so I'm not sure which one it is mine is pretty beat up and for that I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 113 brush and this brush fits perfectly perfectly right on your eyeballs here you can use this for the under eye area and that's it for now because we have some cream products we're gonna go into and so moving on to bronzer I have a bronzer that I would suggest for a starter kit that's a cream bronzer and the cream bronzer I'm suggesting is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Amber Suede and it's this beautiful shade that blends so nicely into the skin and leaves a very nice color to your face so what I like to do is apply it like that and kind of do a couple lines on my forehead and that it I'm gonna apply it with the BK Beauty 109 brush this is such a perfect brush to apply cream products like this you see how easy this blended and now on top because I like my cream bronzer to last for a powder bronzer I would suggest for your starter kit is the Huda Beauty glowish bronzer I have so many beautiful bl blonders <laughs> bronzers and this is in the shade 02 medium but this bronzer is just I don't know it looks stunning when you um, try to apply it to your hand you can't see it very good but applying it to your face is just beautiful and for that I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 107 brush and warm up the face like look at that right away oh this is just such a beautiful bronzer and I love the packaging the size of it gives it a nice bronzy look I just love it oh I hate how the hairs get attached to your face so I like to use my uh spoolie yeah and i'm gonna have in my description box everything that i'm using including the bk beauty brushes you guys can get a 10 percent off on the bk beauty brushes by using my code elinka10 so everything will be down below let's move on to blush for a cream blush i am suggesting the rose ink blush in the shade fox glove I want to pick up more of this blushes and other shades this is just so such a beautiful shade you can't go wrong with this and it fits a lot of skin tones yeah let's use the BK Beauty 109 brush just dip in here make sure it's not too much and apply it to your cheek just perfect and this is very very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way so just apply and stamp everything in look how nice and subtle this looks so yeah this is definitely a must in your starter kit for a cream blush of course i am suggesting next the patrica if you don't want to have just a cream blush go with the Patrick Tuss because this comes with a powder and a cream blush right here so you can't go wrong with it but I just wanted to show you guys a an actual cream blush on its own if you just want to have one like this but for now I want to go into highlighter and for highlighter I'm suggesting this one there's a lot of product in here this is the melt cosmetics highlighter in the shade stargazer and this is a beautiful highlighter a lot of it because you can use this on your body as well that's already a lot of product I'm gonna use my ring finger and just apply some on the high points on the nose and I'm gonna go in with my sponge I find it that with the sponge it just melts into the skin a little bit better and this is great for beginners because it just blends into your skin like you won't see it sitting on your skin 
whether you have more mature skin or not this just gives it that nice glowy highlighting look without um, showing the fine lines any imperfections on your face so pretty so I wanted to apply this first and now I'm gonna go with my powder blush because I think that applying your highlighter before your blush, I don't know, it mashes everything nicer together. So I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta in the shade She's Blushing. This is the powder one. And I'm gonna use a Beaky Beauty 104 brush. So a little bit goes a long way. Remember, these are very pigmented. So yeah, this is a must to have in your starter kit. You can't go wrong with this one. Okay, so now that the complexion is done, let's move on to powder. The powder I suggest, it's a must in your kit. It is the Givenchy. This is the Prisma Libre powder in the shade 1 Pastel. This is my favorite powder. If you do have dry skin, if you have mature skin, this powder is the best. So for this, you can use the actual sponge, but I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 110 brush and apply the powder in the t-zone so i like to use this brush because i only apply powder in this area here this powder just airbrushes your face and this is my number one product i recommend out of my whole makeup collection okay so let's move on to eyes i would suggest to always go with something neutral and the best palette you can go to is the natasha denona mini nude palette this palette you can go wrong with it i'm loving it i suggest all natasha denona palettes i love pet McGrath as well but again for a starter kit to my best friend i would suggest this palette because it has everything you need i'm gonna go in with a bk beauty 212 brush and with this brush i'm gonna go into this light shade right here and use this this as a transition shade now there's a couple of other things I would recommend you can always go with the makeup by Mario this is the old mattes palette but if you do want to have a little bit of shimmer and you're a beginner and you're just starting with makeup this palette is perfect because it has shimmers mattes and you can create many looks with it and also what else would I recommend Tom Ford has great great formula that's another one i recommend but this is probably the easiest and best to have in your starter kit you can go wrong with natasha denona and these shades are so universal now i'm gonna go into into this darker shade and i'm gonna use a bk beauty 211 brush and just darken the crease a little bit so if you do have hooded eyes like what i do i suggest looking straight and placing this brush just above your crease don't close your eyes and do it in a crease because when you open it you won't see that color there so just keep your eye open and try to move your brush just a little bit above your eyeball crease just like that so that when you look straight you do see this dark area now i'm gonna go with a bk beauty 203 brush and just go into that same dark shade and just apply it on the outer corner here and I'll use the same brush to kind of blend everything and then I'm gonna go into a blending brush soon so now I'm gonna go into this BK Beauty 212 brush and just diffuse any sharpness and I think that looks really nice now I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go into this shade which is a shimmery brown and add that hmm, I don't know which one maybe I'll go into this one into this gold I'm gonna go into this gold I haven't used it in a while I'm gonna use this and put it in the middle oh that's so pretty and now I'm gonna go into the lightest shade which is this champagne shade right here and use my finger and add this in the inner corner just a little bit you have to touch that shade because it is very pigmented so i'm just gonna drag it into that copper and mash them together because you don't want to have any 
sharp lines where you see the transition from one shade to another. Wow, this looks pretty. So this is exactly why I'm recommending this palette for a starter kit. And now for the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do it smoky. So I'm gonna go into the same dark shade with a BK Beauty 204 brush, which is more of a flat hard brush and just intensify this outer corner so i'm gonna stop midway i'm not gonna bring it all the way because i'm gonna be using a pencil later on so now i'm gonna go into a beaky beauty 211 just to diffuse the under eye area here i think that looks nice now for an eye pencil for your starter kit you cannot go wrong with a black pencil the one i'm suggesting is the makeup by mario one mine is in the shade this is the master pigment pro pencil and this is the super black one i really really want the brown one however it's not in stock so today we're gonna use the black one and it comes with a brush on the other end which is good when you apply the liner underneath your lash line but today i'm just gonna apply it in the waterline so this is what it looks like it's one of those that you sharpen So you can see the difference. I like to make my eye more elongated, but if you wanna have more of an open eye, you can skip this step. You can see this eye looks bigger, but I want mine to look this way, like an almond. This is such a beautiful eyeliner. I have sensitive eyes and this doesn't do anything to my eyes. I just love the way it looks and the way it lasts and it's very creamy and very pigmented so i love this eyeliner okay so for mascara for a starter kit the one that i currently have open is my clinique high impact curling mascara i love this mascara and i will show you one side how this mascara applies on camera and then i'm gonna do the other one uh, off camera so i'm gonna start with this part of the wand which is the bubbly this hump part i will show you how this is gonna look so now i'm gonna flip it with this part of the wand right here and distribute it better this actually helps comb any extra mascara that's left on the lashes so I'm not gonna dip again I'm gonna use whatever I have left and use on the bottom lashes so I'll start with that hump of the brush so pretty and then I'm gonna flip it and kind of comb it through so this is what the eye looks like with the mascara isn't this like a spidery lengthening voluminizing mascara I love it <laughs> So for lip liners, I am suggesting these two shades and these are the Makeup Forever lip liners. This is the Artist Color Pencil, they're the wooden pencils. So this one right here is Endless Cacao and this right here is Anywhere Caffeine. These are so pretty, so today I'm gonna use the Anywhere Caffeine. And this is such a beautiful shade. You can fill, fill in your lips with this as well. For lipsticks, I'm suggesting this too. And one is the, this is the Pat McGrath in the shade Flash 3109. I never understand the actual shades in this, but this is what this one looks like. It's more of like a nice brown burgundy shade. And the other one is the Pat McGrath Flash 7. Yes, in the shade 598, I think. And this is more of a... Um, gloss so i'm using this as a topper so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this matte lipstick so i just did a little bit of dabbing this is very pigmented and i'm gonna go in with that shiny one just in the middle here 
for extra hydration and this is what the look turned out to be what do you guys think I think that this is a perfect kit that I would suggest to my best friend this is a uh, starter kit with absolutely no budget because this is more of a high-end makeup kit I can try do one for drugstore for all of my fans out there that enjoy drugstore makeup this was so much fun to film and this products are just a pleasure to work with if you did enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe down below it would mean so so much to me i wish you all a wonderful day and i cannot wait to see you in my next one love you guys bye